Hi everyone, Mary Jo Feely with Fourth Dimension Healing. I want to take just a minute or two to talk with you briefly about what it means when we talk about healing with the water element and working with gemstones and crystals that align with water element frequencies. The water element within our physical body aligns with our body fluids. So when we think of the cardiovascular system and the way the blood pumps throughout our vessels, when we think about our lymph system, those are two ways in which the water element functions within our physical body. And we all know that if we get dehydrated and we don't have enough water within our system, we don't feel very well. So that is how water often will help support us when we're working with physical healing. Also, predominantly, the water element is supportive our, of our emotional healing. So when we have emotional issues that we're working with and working to clear and heal through, the water element is very much part of that process. I brought several stones that I want to share with you today, some of which you may have at home already, and I'd like to explore some very simple ways to work with these stones to be able to support the rebalancing of the water element within your body. This first stone that I have is a piece of rose quartz. It's tumbled. You can see it's not very big. It does not need to be very big, and I think that's really important. We don't have to have monster size stones that we're working with. Rose quartz has a frequency and an energy of compassion, self-nurturing, and self-acceptance. And so while we are clearing our emotional body and we are clearing our emotions, all of that nurturing does come through the heart chakra. And the rose quartz is a very beautiful stone to support the work that you're doing with that. Another example of a stone that supports heart healing and emotional healing is ruby fuchsite. So if you've seen my video on healing with earth element stones, I will have already talked with you about the ruby, which pulls up earth energy. The beauty of ruby fuchsite is that then the fuchsite is able to pull that energy up, move it through that second chakra, which is the seat of our emotional body, and be able to clear that through our energy field, bringing all those nurturing energies all the way up into that heart space again, which is where we do the work. There is another stone that connects with the earth energy and also pulls it all the way up into the heart space. And it is called Udialite. It's this beautiful stone that has flecks and subtleties of whites, and greens, deep hues of a, like a rose, burgundy. Beautiful representation of a water element stone that clears from the base up into the heart, helping us to move, clear, and shift stagnant and blocked energies, especially those that align themselves currently within our uh, emotional body. When we have experiences such as feelings and emotions, they really do show up in our energy field and they also show up physically in our body. So when we're working with stones, we are bringing those frequencies of the stones into our energy field and into our physical body to help support the shifting and healing that's happening. Here is an example of a stone called chrysocolla. Chrysocolla resonates with the water element. Very calming, very soothing. The beauty of this particular stone is that it draws those emotional healing frequencies up through the heart and up through the throat chakra so that we're able to express out and clear in this way. 
So some of these stones are going to resonate with more than one element and some of these stones are also going to support more than one of our energy centers. So this is a beautiful stone to work on heart, emotional blockages, and also how those are being expressed, helping us to say the things that we need to say in order to do the healing. Are we in the process of forgiving? Are we in the process of accepting? Are we in the process of allowing ourselves to be who we are with less self-degradation and le much, much more self-affirmation? These are stones that can support you in that practice, practice as well. Along with the chrysocolla is turquoise. Turquoise has this ability to bring the cooling, calming, nurturing water element frequencies once again through the emotional body, through the heart chakra, and expressing them up through the fifth chakra. Keep in mind that when you are looking for turquoise, be very mindful that you are indeed getting turquoise. It is hard to find sometimes, and there is a lot of turquoise that's being sold that is actually not turquoise, but it's been dyed, um, other stones that have been dyed. And there's nothing inherently wrong with dyeing another stone. You just want to know the stone that you're getting. So for example, make sure it's genuine turquoise and not, for example, dyed howlite. The last stone I want to show you is this beautiful water element stone of nurturing and cleaning and clearing, and it's emerald. Now you've noticed some of these stones have had green tints to them, green hues. They really do resonate with the heart chakra. This piece of emerald is tumbled. And this is a piece of rough or raw emerald. Very, very helpful when we're feeling that we're in the process of having emotions getting ready to just arise just under the surface and we're waiting and waiting for that little bit of a nudge to let us know that it's safe to do so. When you're working with stones, I would recommend that you perhaps really think about only working with one stone at a time. And I say this for a good reason. If I choose to work with both emerald and turquoise at the same time, and then I notice that I'm beginning to feel some shifting or some clearing, Maybe I'm feeling comfortable or maybe I'm actually feeling a little bit agitated or a little bit down in the dumps, a little bit funky. It's very likely that one of these stones is beginning to hit some of my healing stuff, the areas where there are some densities and some blocked energies that are in the process of clearing. If I'm working with both stones at the same time, I'm not sure which of them is resonating with that particular part of my healing journey. So that's why I would recommend if you are going to choose to do some really intentional deep work with the stones to work with one at a time. And also I really encourage you to have some kind of a journal or a notebook where you can keep track of what you've noticed. It is far more important that you reflect back upon your own experiences than it matters as to what I may share about my own experience with stones and crystals or with um, whatever any other book or website might offer. So while, for example, these are all stones that support healing of the emotional body, the way you respond and react to a piece of rose quartz within your energy field or a piece of chrysocolla is going to range quite differently perhaps than for anyone else. When we're working with these stones, we do not need to work with the stones 24 seven for a week straight. Some of these stones, for example, a piece of beauty light might be easy to put in a pocket. Perhaps a big rough piece of emerald 
maybe it won't be so comfortable. And so we can work with these stones for part of the day. Perhaps some of these stones you want to uh, set next to your bed at night or slip inside a pillowcase and then set them aside during the day when you're out and about as opposed to other times uh, sleeping on a couple of larger pieces like this might be a bit uncomfortable so I may choose to have that sit next to me or near me or meditate and, and, and sit with it in a way that doesn't disturb my sleep. So there are lots of different ways you can work with these stones and any stones for that matter. If you're curious as to what stones you have already at home and whether or not they resonate with the water element, I invite you to go out to my website, go to my online shop, the link is below this video, and you can go there and actually sort my stone collections that I offer by element. So go ahead and sort by water element, see all the options that I offer, and take a look at what you might already have at home. If you have any questions about anything that you happen to see on my webpage that you have more interest in learning about, feel free to either email me or you can send me a chat through the chat option on my webpage and I'd be more than happy to get in touch with you. So keep in mind as you're working with healing, especially with the water element and the way we are healing emotions, we're doing so very, very gently. So there is no rush, there is no tumble. It is simply allowing whatever is arising to arise, honoring that and being able to have stones to work with us to remind us that we are always in companionship with helpers. So let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I wish you very well and much blessing on your healing journey. Be well.